Oh, you ever had a stage fright? Funny story, right? Don't tell nobody I told you this. Only the people that watch this video. If you watch this video, you're saying you got an inside leak story. Okay. I was uh, 12 years old. This was my seventh grade year. You know what I'm saying? Still in middle school. At this point, I told you I was known for battling niggas. You know what I'm saying? I've been battling niggas since like fucking fifth grade, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was known for battling niggas. Niggas knew I was nice. They knew I made music. I had put out you know saying a couple songs at that point, so on and so forth. They asked me to perform at um, the after school thing. Like, they, they hit me during school. They was like, yo, we having a show after school today. You know what I'm saying? For I forgot what organization it was. Whatever, whatever, Malik, we love to see you perform, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is this is Young League. I'm like 10, 11, 12, however old I am, bro. Man, I thought I was going to get up in that motherfucker and not perform. I, I went in that motherfucking auditorium, man. It was like about 600 people in that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm young. I'm like, I'm like, I I was going to freestyle, you know what I'm saying? Because at this time, I didn't really write like that. Like, I was just freestyling, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> I got up there. I, they put they put on the wackiest beat ever. I should have never let that white ass teacher pick that beat. She put on like some like some shit that you see that say hardcore hip hop trap banger type oh beat instrumental. God. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? Shit, I, I I start rapping. I stutter, you know what I'm saying? I choke up my word, then I get up there and I just get straight philosophical. I'm like, yo man, God's got you, God's got me. If God didn't exist, why would we be like I just get got straight philosophical I'm looking in the crowd I see my my principal she's like well he cut it and she, she black she's trying to help me out she's like well he cut it but the white people just up there like oh my god this this young man he's so he's so he's so charismatic he's, he's such a, a high thinker but like all the black <laughs> people just like my nigga you embarrassing yourself you know what I'm saying <laughs> so yeah but I was scared as a motherfucker seeing all them motherfucking people so yeah definitely <laughs> definitely it's on it none today not none today. Not today. Anytime you just you out there like that. I can't if, afford if, it. If something happened right here, they just pop the stage out like yo, just come perform real quick. Hell, bro, listen. In I, the rain right now. They in like, the rain, they got, bro. they got speakers put up. It's, Imagine that nigga Drake come. He's like, yo, I need the best rapper right here, right now, and I let a little rain, nigga. Like I gotta always be ready, bro. Right. Like, cause the opportunity, bro. If the bro, if the nigga Drake come up to the car, nigga, and, and tell me to rap, nigga, I'm a rap, nigga, cause like I might not never get that opportunity again. Like you gotta always be ready. If I if if I book a show tomorrow for twenty thousand people, nigga. Shit, it's a lot more people I've ever performed for, nigga. But that's where I want to get to it one day. I didn't think it was going to be now. But shit, nigga, right, here right. we are. You know what I'm saying? So, hell no. Nah. Ain't no such thing as stage fright. That's a good mind to have. Yeah. Would you sign a 360 deal right now? Hell no. Hell no? Why? You got to know your worth as an artist, bro. Like, like, don't get me wrong. Like, you know, like, I could probably get money. You know what I'm saying? I can probably make mad money off a 360 deal. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe in my talent and shit like that. You know, and like, I ain't gonna hold you all that ever really takes the right person, or the right push, or the right this, or the right that. Mm -hmm. But my nigga, like, that's the easy way out, bro. Like, I'm confident enough in my music making ability, my song making ability, you know what I'm saying? My persona as an artist, as a performer, all, all the embodiment of what it means to be an artist in this game. I'm confident enough in that to know that I'm gonna make it with or without it, without a deal, you know what I'm saying? Because, yeah, okay, I get on with the 360 deal, you know what I'm saying? I'm making millions of dollars, you know what I'm saying, in my pocket, but my music is grossing billions. Hmm, that seems, how the niggas that's doing the least amount of work, you know what I'm saying, getting the most amount of money, you know what I'm saying? Or like, I'm not trying to, but I want to reap the benefits of my reward, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need no other nigga eating off my pockets. Respect, respect, respect. <laughs> you just took that one another way. I ain't even thinking you was about to say that, but I respect that.